want to talk a little bit about cephalotis and how they actually catch bugs. And to do that, I'm going to do this very sacrificial thing that most people wouldn't do, which is cut away a beautiful, big, giant cephalotis pitcher and cut it open for you and see what that looks like. So here's our big cephalotis pitcher. First off, something kind of interesting is where the, um, this is a modified leaf and the stem of that leaf is right here. Unlike an Epimphes, which joins up down at the bottom, it would be down here. Uh, Cephalotus, the little petiole, the little stem of the leaf kind of comes right at the joining of the lid and the pitcher body, which is really interesting. And you can really kind of just hold them, there's like a little thing. Anyways, I've already cut this open. So I'll pull that away. And now you can see the interior of the trap. Now, this lid keeps rainwater mostly out. So it keeps it from just washing the insects that it does catch away and all the fertilizer that it's trying to digest. Um, and it's also usually brightly colored red with these white clear panels. You can kind of see those white panels. That attracts the insect and there's a nectar lure in there. So they come in to eat the nectar and you can see the dark pitchers, the interior of the pitchers are extremely dark. They're black basically. And People think that the water sitting in there against the black just kind of makes like a little inviting spot for an insect to crawl in. Uh, it seems safe, but it isn't. Uh, once they're inside, not only is it full of uh, digestive enzymes and acid to break the insect down as soon as it falls in there, but there's also, see these little teethy hooks at the edge? Those are like the uh, things that hang over a castle wall this like metal bars, whatever those are called, <laughs> that keeps people from climbing up a wall and over. And if you could get over that, there's actually this collar. You can see this waxy green collar that overhangs in there. See that overhang? So if you're climbing out, again, it's really hard to get up and over that. And that waxy collar has the same kind of wax that um, clogs up insect feet that so many carnivorous plants have adapted to keep their prey inside their traps. Anyways, they're almost just as beautiful as they are on the outside. Um, and you don't see it too often. So I hope you enjoyed me cutting it open just to check it all out.